Hello friends, welcome to the video series on interview question for SQL PL SQL developers. So in this video, we are going to see about the function based index related interview questions. So this video is a continuation of index related uh, series. So if you're watching this video for the first time, I would suggest you start from the video number 18 for a better understanding. Because in the previous videos, we have discussed in detail about the index related concept and uh, very specific to B3 and bitmap related index and when to use those particular index. So this particular video is very specific about function based index, but I would suggest for better understanding, you start from the video number 18. Okay, let us start with the function based index. So here is a list of questions very much specific to function based index. If you can able to answer to all these questions, then we'll be able to answer, uh, we'll be able to understand most of the basic concepts related to the function based index. Let us start with what is a function based index. So first of all, the function based index is not a new type of index like a B tree or a bitmap index. Instead, this is a slight variation from the B tree or a bitmap in the way the index data is getting stored. So typically in a B tree or a bitmap index, whenever we create an index on a particular column, the key value of that column is exactly stored in the index segment. So that is how whenever we use that particular column in a where condition, uh, optimizer starts searching in the index segment. Then from there it picks the row ID and it directly goes to the data segment. However, in the function based index or however, in, when we create a function based index, the key columns are not exactly stored. Instead, the key columns are applied over this function and the converted value is only getting stored in the index segment. We'll be able to understand better if we see how the index data is actually stored. Let us start understanding how to create the function based index and when we create a function based index, how the information is actually getting stored. So here is a simple table called employee underscore T, which has two column called employee number and employee name. E name. I let us try to understand this in a relation with B tree index so that it is easier for us to understand. First, we'll try to create a B tree index. Then we'll see uh, how the index is uh, index data is stored. From there, we'll uh, try to understand how to create a function based index and how the data is getting actually stored. To create a, a B tree index, typically we'll use this statement like create index index name on the table name that is employee t followed by the column name. So in this case, I'm trying to create a index on the employee name column, ename. Okay. So the moment it, this B3 index is created, row ID information along with the column information will be stored. So the key learning here is that, the, so this is the key column and this is exactly the same what is there in the table. So this information will be sorted and the row ID information will be stored in the index segment. So whenever we query, uh, uh, whenever we try to query from the table, something like select star from EMP underscore T, where name equal to Alan. The moment we give this where condition, optimizer automatically will search from this index segment. Then it will pick the row ID of this Alan. Then it will just directly go to the data to pick that Alan related row. So this is how the beta index will work. But suppose if we give a query something like this, select star from employee underscore T, where upper of E name. We are not using the column name directly here. Instead, we are using a function. So the key learning here is whenever we apply a function or an egg, or if the column is part of any expression, then Oracle will not use the index. Even if there is an index created on this table, it will not use the index. Instead, it will go through the full table scan. We can able to see from direct, clearly from this explain plan, it is using the full table scan. To avoid this, we have a new index called the function based index. So here is the syntax on how to create the function based index. You say create index index name on employee T. The learning is here only. You just instead of creating on the column directly, now we are creating using the function with the column name. Here we are creating the index on upper of E name. The moment we create this function based index, the index data will be stored. That is the key column will be stored after applying the function. As we can see here, now all these column names are stored in the uppercase. Even though in the table, there are few columns in the lowercase or init cap. 
when we create this function based index all these key columns will be converted or uh, that is the function will be applied on this key column and the key column will be stored here that is after applying the function now if we try to query this exact same query select star from employee where upper of ename equal to scott then this will start using the index so this is all about the function based index but keep it in mind when when you create a function based index this particular index will be used only in the only if we use that particular function in the where condition suppose if you are creating an uh, index on the upper of ename and in the where condition if you are using something like a lower of ename then it will not use that index we have to use the exact function name whatever we have used to create the index so this is about the uh how to create the function based index and when we create a function based index how the data is actually internally stored it's not only for a function in fact uh, we can create this index on expressions also okay just to add one more point how to know whether the index is being used is that the first point is the explain plan from there we'll be able to clearly see whether this particular index is getting used or not and uh, this index is not just for the function it's for also for expression let us see with that with an one more example so here is a loan table which have the information like principal amount rate of interest and number of years suppose if i'm having a query something like this select star from this loan table where i'm i'm calculating the simple interest and and i'm saying greater than 1 lakh when you are always using this expression then obviously this uh, when we try to uh, query something like this it will go for a full table scan because this is just an expression because we uh, and we have not created index on any of these column okay so in this case even here we can try to create a index that is the uh, index on the expression as you can see here we now we are creating the index on the complete expression the moment you create this a, a index on this expression from that point if you try to query uh, query from this table having the exact expression in the where condition then oracle will start using the index you can see here now it is start using the index so this is another variation of the function based index so uh, function based index doesn't mean just we need to use the function in the while we creating the index it also means that we can use the expression as well okay Uh, what are the uses of function based index obviously whenever we are going to query in a select statement in the where condition when you are using always the function then this function based index can be useful and of course the advantage is that mainly for the performance aspect and uh, only when we are using the function in the where condition then we need to go for the function based index but uh, of course whenever there is a dml operation happened on this table like in insert update or uh, insert or update or delete at that point at that point of time the function will be evaluated and the key column will be stored so there is a trade off between the performance between the dml operation versus the select statement performance if you have learned something new please like this video subscribe and stay tuned for new feature videos interview questions sql practical questions concept videos thanks a lot for watching if you have any comments please share in the comment section or you can drop to this mail id thanks a lot for watching this video